right. We're back for part two. Like I said, we got to rob everybody. You know, we all know you couldn't go through this shit. But, okay. I suppose some introductions are in order. Help you? Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Where am I? He's dead. Glad you and Fig are all right. <laughs> It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience, nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. He's lying. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Yeah, I like him already. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? A lot of spells Which aren't taught at Hogwarts. Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. Come on, bro. Don't blue balls me like that. Good luck today. Don't blue balls me like that. Come on, man. Come on, Sebastian. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Oh, girl's like, what the fuck are you talking to? She's not talking to me. That is freaky. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's crazy. No way, they got chest moving by itself. Oh, that's fire. That's it? Oh! Rip the guys, rip the guys. My boy got a checkmate. Oh, no, no way he's about to repair itself. Oh, oh, they dead. That's actually crazy. Well, I feel like we're right by water. Ah, Malfoy. Oh, there's water. Headshot, 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 headshot. Headshot, 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 headshot. I, I think I heard one. I think I heard one. Shut your eyes up. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. I like that name. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Yes, I did. Can you not, like, see me? Like... Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. Tell um... <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do Are let you blind? me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Though I doubt you'll need it. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Oh, shit. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, 
but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet Where, you. The pleasure you. was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is he? Yo, it's really crazy. This man blind? I actually think he is. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust what me. Is oh, no way. Hold up. Burnt that shit. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Yo, hey, get off my watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, that is. Checkmate. Told you. What up, sexy? You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day. <sighs> Taking all the attention away from the first years. Appreciate you, gang. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. Okay. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, so I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Alright. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. Oh, There's okay. nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Why is she waiting for me? Tell her to go away for our bomb clad self. <laughs> yeah. I see what it's supposed to be doing, but it's. You know what I mean. Alright, we up. <laughs> I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding mm. level exams. Mm. They will determine what type of career you can have when you Why do you here. name them after? After much discussion with the headmaster yes. and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh, okay. No, I love extraordinary things. Here you are. Grimoire? This ain't no four-leaf grimoire. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Okay. Resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. 
Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train... Rebellion. To Lumos. I to burn it. Oh, God. Any of those, yeah. Oh, sis. Oh, just dipped on me. I was going to play. Damn. Yo, can you not walk any faster? Nope. Can't run. Can't get none. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what the field guide can provide? Okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Slow ass walking animation. Wait till I get a fire spell. I must have ah, out. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay, thank you. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Okay. 
Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging mm -hmm. by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. <sighs> I want to tell her the truth, but I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think anything really happens. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. <laughs> yes. You oh. seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. As soon as you left, thank fucking God. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. 
I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Copy. You salute me, boy, like I'm not. What are you up to now? Sorry, taking me forever to get everywhere. This is just, yeah. Some of us don't necessarily. Join the goblin the goblins, werewolves, where were you in the Goblin Rebellion of 1752? The Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. Oh, oh fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're the I'm not lies. telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a boot or the Minister what a What was flack? that for? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Handy resource indeed, oh. and you're both you're wrong anyway. Right. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Bruce and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Flack! Mm. <laughs>
sort of that, like, and that sort of thing. But I think she thought I was making fun of her because she's been rude to me ever since. When I said she was outspoken, I meant it as a compliment. Okay, let's go to this child's basket. The best way to learn how to fly. Here, behind you. There is an open seat here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have I the basics down, and it I... is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test? Right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall. Now, I could... That's it! Not to worry. Very good! Points to Slytherin! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. 
Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Yeah, what's up? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Clear. Okay, go ahead, sis. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, you bad. bad. There we go. You, you bad. That's Ooh. it. Here we go. I hate her. I played too much 2K for him. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What, what did you just do? <laughs> Here we go, nice. I think yeah. we are well past interesting at this point. No, I'll probably. say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You yeah, will ahead, need it. Let me, let me this round now. settles it all. Okay. Let us see this. They call me Bram Bra. Oh, don't. There we go. Come on, coach. You gave her that lucky bounce. Yeah, 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 Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. I think I might have underestimated you. To become you proficient too. with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I Thank appreciate you. your confidence. Yeah. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Okay. My okay. mother received an offer to teach divination here. Aww. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? 
Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Okay. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. <laughs> it seems very dramatic. It is. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until Bruh, next you just time. told all of us to get out. Of course. Yo, what do you, you mean next time? Pull up. On humans, if you're so A word, inclined. if you would. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Facts. You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hello there. You're the new student, Hello. aren't you? Yeah. Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate, beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Does he really? Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Just get like me, sis. Don't worry about nothing, just get like me. On another adventure, are we? That's you. 
No way that was you. Two staircases is crazy. Where is he? I don't know what cargo is speaking. good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, oh, right. then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel, using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. Levioso! <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Good form. I know. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna drown him in his sleep. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. 
Points to Slytherin. Points Thank you, Hufflepuff. Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. But... A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Appreciate you. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. I got your ass whooped. Practice. practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. <laughs> I like. Yeah. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Wait, count, count me, me yeah. in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. Especially if you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're, giving me bread. you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, I like you that just one. have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. All right. And that's where we'll be ending this one. You already know I appreciate all of you guys always. Catch you in the next one.